Hi guys, this is Mayo and welcome back to my channel and I'm so excited of today's video. I have received a PR package from a brand's headquarters in the States. One of my favorite, favorite beauty bloggers, which is Catherine Lights. She has been mentioned about this brand a lot. And the brand we'll be reviewing today is... It's Nude Sticks! I have heard of a lot, a lot, a lot of good things about Nude Sticks. And finally, I get to personal experience all of these products. So if you're interested to hear this review, please first subscribe to my channel because every Tuesday and Thursday, I will be uploading new videos on my channel. And I wish you enjoy this video. Let's go! Stay with me. So New Sticks has been very, very nice to me. I have sent me everything from their collection, like from foundation to concealer, to uh, blush, to contour, to uh, eyeshadow pencil, everything. And Sephora has recently landed in Hong Kong and New Stick is one of their exclusive brands selling in Sephora. And I am a big fan of Sephora. And let's start with the foundation. I heard it's really buildable and it's a light to medium coverage foundation. First, I will be using a beauty blender to apply this product. Say hello to my Sailor Moon mirror. Isn't it cute? First, I've done some research on the brand. The founder is a woman that has 20 years of chemistry background and she created this brand with two of her daughters, which is very cute, like a family brand. And also the brand is vegan, so no animal testing, which is great. And I really like the brand's theory because I've seen uh, some of their interviews online saying that the brand um, suggests, you know, being a very busy city person, you can pull out products from new sticks and just, you know, put it on quickly. Because recently I've done a facial treatment that injects um, a lot of uh, moisturized serums into your skin. And that's why my skin has a lot of red dots and a bit of small bruise. But then I'm already quite surprised with the coverage of the foundation because I had a bruise here, but then it got easily covered by the foundation, which I'm very impressed. It's all gone with one layer, even though it's a tint foundation but then the coverage is quite impressive but then also at the same time my skin still looks like real skin as you can tell the reflection of my skin it doesn't look like I have applied a very thick layer of foundations but then most of my flaws are covered you can see my dark circles are not covered but other than that like all the spots on my face is gone I'm very impressed and now I'll try to apply a second layer because usually not every foundation is buildable because um, sometimes when you apply a second layer of the foundation the first layer of the foundation will move and always make sure your beauty blender is damp with water before you use it i'm starting to see more coverage with the second layer but then at the same time it still looks like real skin this is not an ad it's real review from the bottom of my heart but then one thing about this tinted foundation is even though it's a dewy finish, but then it's not that moisturized. But then the dewiness is making my pores looking quite like in your face, you know, like bam. So that's the only cons of the foundation. But so far so good. And the next I will be trying on is the concealer pencil, which is very, very, very rare to find a concealer pencil product because most of the time you find concealer in cream texture. It's the closest you can get probably is the Fenty Beauty matchsticks. I have a lot of like acne dots on my face. So sometimes using a cream concealer, it's quite messy because the area you apply the products gets, you know, larger. It's quite hard to be very precise on the area that you just wanted the concealer to be on. And the only brand I know that has done a concealer pencil other than Nude Sticks is um, NYX, NYX. So I have this spot on my neck that is very hard to cover up. And today I haven't put on any products on the spot so I can just straight on put on this concealer, see how it applies. Oh, it's gone! You wouldn't expect a pencil concealer to be this creamy. And I wanted to see if it's possible as a under eye concealer. I have used an NYX pencil concealer before and I think it's a bit more powderish finish. So it's a bit dry, but this one seems very all right for now. And it's really convenient because it's just a pencil. I can just put it on like this. It doesn't get messy. I can just use my fingertips to blend it. And the color matches my skin. How can their PR know my skin tone already without seeing me in person? And if you have a very super crazy dark circles, I can tell you using a concealer pencil is the best way to conceal 
that line. So what I suggest you to do is to apply the product just right at the edge of the dark circle and just dab it and it blends seamlessly. Woohoo! The next is one of Catherine Light's favorite products. This is the product that she has mentioned a million times, saying how good this is and how convenient this is. And what Catherine Lights have mentioned about this is, not only this eyebrow product has an eyebrow pencil on one side, it also has an eyebrow gel on the other side. How convenient can this be? Let me ask you a question. Do you know why is it called nude stick? Guess. Make a guess. The answer is because all the products, everything from the brand, is in stick which makes it a lot more convenient. But what I'm curious is whether New Sticks has a powder because it's quite hard to get powder on a stick, right? As you can see, this um, eyebrow pencil is a triangle, the edge. So basically the tip of the eyebrow pencil is for the front of your eyebrow. So you can draw the strokes and the thicker side of the pencil is for the end of your eyebrow. So you can fill in the color. Okay, so turns out Nude Stick doesn't have powder. Mm, maybe they should try, you know, putting on, setting powder on a stick. Wow. I can already see this eyebrow gel is giving me a very feathery finishing. And I usually like to put the eyebrow gel on the front. If you want to be a very soft, you know, very mellow kind of mode, then, you know, don't apply the eyebrow gel. But if you want to give an impression that you're full of energy, full of attitude, then put on some eyebrow gel. Because my eyebrow hair is very strong, um, it's quite hard to um, change the direction of the hair. But then the new stick um, brow gel, it's actually quite hard. So it's actually really helping. Unlike um, the, the brow gel from um, Glossier, it's too soft for my eyebrow. This is definitely going into my permanent makeup bag. This is my permanent makeup collection, which is a secret. Okay, I forgot something really funny. It's um, this eyebrow pencil comes in this uh, metal box, looks like this, which I personally think it's a bit of unnecessary because I wouldn't keep the box. But then the surprise is the box, inside the box has a huge mirror, which I'm not sure if anyone would actually keep, keep this box, but I wouldn't. Okay, the next one I will be trying on is this contour sculpting pencil. One end as the um, highlight and one end as the contour. I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but I can tell from the mirror that the product, it's moving the foundation. So what I would suggest you to do using this product is not to use a beauty blender or any brush. I would suggest you just to use fingers to tap it on tap on your contour, wouldn't move um, your foundation. You can see that, you see the foundation, it's, it's a bit gone on the side, but if you tap it like this, it stays beautifully. Okay, and after applying that, I'll apply some highlights on the tip of my nose, on my cheek. And this color is quite universal as well as Asian skin tone. Usually it's quite hard to find contour colors that matches. And you can see after dapping the highlight, it's very natural. It looks like it's a natural glow from my skin. Okay, the next we're going to play around is the cream blush. So this is Sun Kiss. They have this brush on the side, but the hair is quite rough. I have a feeling that it will move the foundation on my face. Let's see if that's the case. All right, first impression is super juicy and creamy. As you can see, the brush has quite a lot of foundation on. So I told ya, use your fingertips, it will be better. It actually blends really well with the contour on this side. Wow, I love it. Okay, I first wasn't expecting this color to turn out good because it's a bit too natural for me because I like really blinding colors. Okay, and I'm going to apply a little bit on my tip of the nose as well. As the name, it's called Sun Kissed. Why not having a sun kissing my skin? Ooh. The last product we have here is the Magnetic Eye Color. This is um, Copper Foil. Okay, let me try Copper Foil. 
Oh wow, this color is so nice. Why is everything so good? I swear to God, I'm not being biased. I swear to God. I love the texture. It's like everything is just right, just perfect. So this combination together with the contour pencil, together with the highlight, with the blush, and a little bit of this copper foil, it's like a perfect combination. It gives my skin a really healthy um, bronze skin color, which I really, really enjoyed. But the funny thing is, I have no idea why Newstick hasn't sent me any lipsticks. So there is no lipsticks for me to try. So I'm just going to randomly put on a lipstick, you know, just to finish this look with a little bit of dirty pink liquid lipstick. Done. Yay! Okay, this total look is done. It's very natural, it's very everyday wear, and it corrects all my flaws at the same time, still making sure my skin looks like real skin. I think that is super important if you like makeup, especially if you're a boy. So if you're a boy and looking for a natural looking makeup, remember, remember, don't overdo your makeup because people or the girls would be saying, oh, is that makeup? Is that foundation? Oh, the shade doesn't match your skin, you know, things like that. So if you don't want any mistakes, make sure you put on makeup very, very, very lightly. So all the products we have played with today, um, first is the Nude Stick Foundation. The Tinder Foundation, I mean, it's a, it's a good coverage foundation. It makes my skin looks good, but then I'm not too sure about the enlarging the pores, that part of the foundation. Um, the finishing is nice, the dewiness is fine, but then as a tinted foundation, I personally would prefer the It Cosmetic CC Cream Foundation a little bit more than the Nude Sticks one, but this is a good buildable foundation too. And the favorite, favorite, favorite products that I've reviewed in this video, it's the brow pencil with the brow gel, also together with the concealer pencil. I mean, these products, it's so hard to find. I haven't seen any brands that has done um, eyebrow pencil with uh, eyebrow gel within one product. So I mean, this is a mega, 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 mega plus. I mean, the concealer pencil is so unique. I haven't seen any concealer pencil that has such a creamy um, formula. But the only con of this product is I have to, you know, sharpen this product all the time. That's the only con of this concealer pencil. And other than that, the cream blush, the magnetic eye shadow pencil, and also the contour and highlight pencil, it's also really good. I was expecting there will be one or two products that I'll be like, nah, not that good, could be better. But then it turns out everything is great and some really brilliant products too. So yeah. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video with me and please remember to subscribe to my channels because every Tuesday and Thursday, I'll be uploading new contents on my channel, always at 9 p.m. Hong Kong time. If there is any content that you would suggest me to shoot, also welcome to leave a comment and I will reply to every single comment. See you on my next video. Bye bye. Okay. I hope you enjoy this product. I hope you enjoy this video. Bye.